Hi everyone and welcome back. I'm Courtney and I'm Kelly and this is Disney, Disney related. related and we are back because we are doing another advent calendar and box opening yes. subscription box opening. Yes. So um, we're gonna go ahead and open up the next seven days. Yeah we're gonna continue with the friends advent calendar yeah. and then we're going to continue with the boutique advent calendar and then we've got um, a dreamers box for you that's Beauty and the Beast theme and then we've got a new subscription from Main Street Mail. So let's get into it because we got a lot to do. Yeah. Uh, first, give me the friends calendar because we are going to open up some more friends. Um, so we opened up the first seven the last time. So the next seven? Yep. Because um, this is like a just like a little cardboardy advent calendar. It's not not nothing. To yeah, do. it's not anything. Um, it's definitely different than I thought it was going to be when I bought it. <laughs> <laughs> but it's still, I like got little like cardboard ornaments last time if you saw and they're already on the tree. So just um, check out our video or our last video. We'll link it. Yeah. And so we are on eight. So it's going to be eight. So yeah, we're going to go until 14 just because that's how many days apart that this video is going to come out. Okay. We have, and it is a picture of the couch, but then it's just this another gift tag, and it has the foosball table on it. Oh, you're the Joey to my Chandler. And it says, you're the Joey to my Chandler. That's cute. Aw. I like that. I like that there tag. There? Nope, there's only one in that. Okay. So, then well, we're going to go to nine, and I love this picture. It's the picture of Chandler. Um... Chandler holding uh, Monica when her boots like gave her blisters <laughs> and then um eight was just the couch so um yay I love that picture because I, I love that episode it shows how sweet Chandler is yeah we actually went to the Warner Brothers lot and we actually sat on the couch a couple times yeah mm -hmm. they have the, the whole set there oh here is Friends, the one with the holiday armadillo. Oh, it's, like it's a, a book. Ornament book. Oh my gosh. It's quotes from the show. Oh, cute. From so, the episode? Yeah, from the episode of the ho holiday armadillo. Let's see. Let's find a cute one. It's like the story of the, the holiday armadillo. Sort of. It says, hey, I just found out. I get Ben for the holidays this year. Are, Are you, you going to dress up like Santa? Nope. I mean, I know Susan does every year, but I think I want to take this year to teach him all about Hanukkah. So, Ben, you know what holiday is coming up, don't you? Christmas! <laughs> <laughs> cute. Very, very cute. Oh, look, there's the holiday armadillo. <laughs> and if you're, you're not familiar with the episode, so... Ben, when he lives with um, his mom, they just celebrate Christmas because Carol is um, Christian, but Ross and Monica are Jewish, and so they want to. They wanted to teach him all about Hanukkah, but Ben was too enthralled with Santa, so um, they have. Ch so Chandler thought it would be a good idea for him to dress up as Santa. Santa, but. Ross was already dressed up as the holiday armadillo. Well, because they didn't have any Hanukkah. Characters. characters left and so um but he, if you wish it listen to curly wiesel very amusing you'll find out that shrek is the ha hanukkah <laughs> hanukkah <laughs> ogre <laughs> all right even though he has a christmas special you can also hang it on the tree if you'd like yeah it's so it's it. it's a book of quotes from the show from that episode that's really funny mm -hmm. okay so we have that was day nine ten and we're going to go to 10. They ruined the cranberry day. They ruined cranberry day. That's Chandler. Because he doesn't like... Well, I know he doesn't like right? Thanksgiving. Yeah. Okay. It says, It's like all my life everyone has always told me, You're a shoe. You're a shoe. You're a shoe. You're a shoe. And then today I just stopped and I said, What if I don't want to be a shoe? What if I want to be a purse, you know, or a hat? So it's quotes from the mm -hmm. show. It's little quote cards. So that one was from the uh, pilot episode. And then this one is when I, and that was from Rachel. So 
So this one is, when I was growing up, I didn't have a normal mom and dad or a regular family like everybody else. And I always knew that something was missing. But now I'm standing here today knowing that I have everything I'm ever going to need. You are my family. That was Phoebe. Mm. She's your lobster. It's a known fact that lobsters fall in love and mate for life, Phoebe. Yeah. And then this one, it says, welcome to the real world. It sucks. You're going to love it. And it's Monica. Monica. Yeah. So those are just like little quote cards. That's um, cute. Yeah. It's 11. 11. Oh, more um, ornaments. Ornaments. And it says, they've ruined cranberry day. <laughs> and has the little dancing oh, turkey. Oh, yeah. And then they have the, the turkey that Monica puts on her head. <laughs> and then it's just a, a friend's ornament with um, the, couch. the couch. Cute. Like oh, 12. Cute. 12. <laughs> it's the scene where it says pivot. Oh my goodness. Um, if you watched the last episode, you know that I work at a furniture store here in Los Angeles. And this is one of my favorite episodes of him buying a couch that he cannot return. <laughs> and he can't get it up the stairs. And he, <laughs> on the back it says, Ross, look, I drew a sketch about how we're going to do it. Okay, Rach, that's you. That's the couch. Rachel goes, whoa, what? What's that? Ross goes, oh, that's me. Rachel goes, wow, you certainly think a lot of yourself. Ross goes, no, that's that's my arm. <laughs> Chandler, oh, I see. I thought you just really, really liked your new couch. <laughs> <laughs> and then this one is the heads peeking in from the door. This is the one from season 10, episode 8, the one with the late Thanksgiving. Joni, Joey says... Now let's not ruin this day. You work so hard. Let's move past this and try to have a nice meal all together, huh? And Chandler says, the floating heads do make a good point. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have to read all of them. <laughs> but then there's this one. Ross and the Rachel. one after Vegas. Yeah. Iconic episode there. And then there's this one. The last one, part two. Look around, you guys. This was your first home and it was a happy place. Filled with love and laughter, but more important, because of rent control, it was a friggin' steal. <laughs> that was the last episode. I think Ever. it was the last line in the episode. And it was talking to his the two two twins yeah. that Chandler and Monica had at the end of the series. They adopted. They adopted. And um and they tried to explain why the apartment was so big and that they could afford it on the salaries that they did. Because everybody knows New York is really, really expensive. Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess that was 13. So last one. Yep. Last one 14. for today is number 14. And that is with the chicken, the turkey. Turkey, 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 lurkey. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I'm ruining it. Okay, it's the first one you've ruined, so it's pretty good <laughs> yeah, for 14 right. days. So this is A Guide to the Holidays, The Friends Way. Oh. Let's see. I need to know this. Okay. Oh, uh, it's all the holiday episodes. Oh, yeah, yeah. So you can go and watch all your holiday episodes. The one with the monkey. Well, this is technically a New Year's episode. Well, the holiday episode. Okay. So they did do a lot of New Year's ones. So it looks like that. Where it has each of the episodes. <laughs> the one with the routine. The one with the Christmas in Tulsa. I see. And then it has a recipe for holiday hot chocolate. Cute. Yep. Yeah, and that's all for tonight. Or for this this week's episode. So we'll, we'll ha probably have at least one more time before Christmas. Good, good, good. And now we're going to do a couple from Board Tea. Mm -hmm. um, this is the little Golden Book Advent calendar that our friend Kristen made. She has an Etsy shop called Board Tea. 
and she made nine of these little calendars and Courtney was able to get one. Um, so we're going to go two and uh, three, three and, and four. Three and four. Three and four. Three and just three and four. I, I mean, I guess. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> so right. this is day three. So this is day three. It's in a little pocket. She makes all kinds of different things, like she upcycles things, and it's all original stuff. But even though it's original stuff, it's um, stuff that like kids have scribbled on. It's dam more damaged. It's damaged stuff, or, so like um, it's not repair. anything valuable. Yeah. Oh, they're little barrettes. They're Bambi barrettes. <gasps> Cute. So these are from a Russell Games release set of miniature card games known as the Mickey Mouse Library of Games. Okay, so these have little Bambi on them. See, I don't know if you can... I might be able to take it out. Take out one. I believe they're little barrettes. Yeah, little barrettes. No. Or bookmarks or No, they're barrettes. Okay. So here. There you go. Focusing on baby. Little hair clips. Yeah. So yeah, let me close the door. So this was from 1946, so it's 70 years old. That's cool. I've never bought the little hair clips before. All right. And day number four. four. Mm -hmm. day no, uh uh, no. Day number four. It's still mine. <laughs> Maybe. It's, we're sharing. We're sharing. <laughs> we're good sharers. Sometimes. Oh, I love it. Oh, it's a little mask holder and it's the submarine. Oh, I love it. I love it. Oh, it is a 20,000 leagues under the sea. Mar submarine ride. Okay, and so this is from... Walt Disney's Disneyland was, I'm sorry, start over. <laughs> Walt Disney's Disneyland was a giant tell-a-tale tell tell book, book published by Whitman in 1964. This colorful book contained both illustrations and photos of scenes around Disneyland, accompanied with primary level rhymes. Fred Weinman provided illustrations and photographs by Roger Davidson, which also acted as a personal photographer for Walt himself. This image on this piece is upcycled from an original book, making it over 50 years old and one of a kind. It has been crafted and preserved to enjoy in a new way. So inside it has the Matterhorn bobsled in it. Very cool. That's cool. Very, very ah. cool. Hmm. There's only 12 of these. Let's do two more. Two more because we already had a video come out. So this video will come out on Tuesday. Because I want to. Sorry, we haven't planned this. <laughs> <laughs> you get a live feed of us finding things out. So hmm. yeah, let's do two more because I think that we'll only have like two more videos before Christmas. And I want to open them all before Christmas. Okay. Right? Yeah. So we're going to open up two more. Me. <laughs> this book is so cute with a little Chippendale on top of the Christmas tree. I love it. It goes yeah. with the cartoon um, yeah. on. Oh, it's a. Oh. 
I think that is. It yours. is a bracelet with Snow White on it. Look at that. Oh, isn't she beautiful? And so this is released just one year after Disneyland's opening, the 1956 Fantasyland board game. Challenge players to race around the board collecting tickets and stars along the way. The art and design of this game was conceptually exceptionally beautiful and featured a, a range of Disney characters. So this piece is the image on this piece is made from the board game and or box and is carefully crafted crafted to reflect the beauty and historical significance of this period in Disney history. All pieces are one of a kind and have remarkably survived over 60 years. So this is 65. Like, She's so cute. I mean, no, the camera's that way. I mean, look at that. She's just, that's Snow White. That's in her Snow White glory. Yep. <laughs> All right, so this would be technically day uh, six. Six. All right, day six. Oh, he's so cute. He's Mickey and Pluto. And that is a charm, so. It's so got a little the pull um, charm. Pull charm on it. The Tiny Golden Library was published in 1964 and included 36 little golden book titles in miniature form. Measuring less than four inches, tiny books contained colorful illustrations and three sets, wonder, three sets of wonderful stories. Dorothy Cunhart's animal stories and tiny nonsense stories and Walt Disney's Disneyland stories. The image on this piece is crafted from an original selection of the book, making it over 50 years old and one of a kind. It has been carefully crafted and preserved to enjoy in a new way. Yay. That's very cute. You can put it on a backpack. It would go really cute on your little, um, Mickey purse, Mickey purse or your, um, the four, the backpack. Or the Minnie Mouse bucket. Uh, anything Mickey. Yeah, no, the Mickey Minnie Mouse movie. purse that I just got. The bucket oh, purse. So that is nice. going to be our advent calendars for today. Stay tuned for more because we still have a lot more yeah. to do. I'm so excited for these things. And like I said, she does upcycle it from old, um, like, record albums. Anything she finds that has Disney on it. But it's all damaged stuff, so she just, like, washes. But not too damaged stuff. Like, you're not going to find, like, damage yeah. in the piece. But, like, it's it's um, stuff that maybe have, like, corner ripped or something spilled on it or something yeah. that could possibly be upcycled and preserved. Yeah, other things that, like, would not be, uh, like, if this piece was in mint condition, it would be worth a lot of money. But since it's damaged, it's not anymore. So, right. that's why. So it looks like Kelly's opening my dreamer box right now. So Yeah, I'm just getting it open with the scissors because I do not trust you with scissors anymore. Not at this angle. <laughs> <laughs> I did not do anything to her ever. Oh, something fell out. Hold on. <laughs> what the hell? It was your card. Oh. Oh, that's such a cute little card. It I says Merry it might say Christmas. what's in it, so hold off of it. Okay. I don't know because the day that this thing came, I also got a message saying that my November box was on its way, so it might be the Christmas box. Um, because the card yeah, this Merry is a Christmas box. Yeah, so this is Merry Christmas. So scratch that. It's not the Beauty and the Beast. It's not my November birthday box. This is the ultimate Christmas box that I got. So this is Merry Christmas. Thank you for letting us bring a little extra magic into your home this holiday season. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Facebook, uh, dreamersbox.com. I like to thank so, so, yeah, I still have a uh, Beauty and the Beast one. I was, like, weirded out because I love it already. Oh, it smells like gingerbread. <laughs> it smells like the Haunted Mansion. <laughs> it does. <laughs> oh, when I went for my birthday, I was dying. I was dying. I wanted this so bad. But I was like, no, I have a box coming from Holly. And I'm going to wait and see if that comes um, so. And it did. Ah. Okay. There's something in here. I know it. <laughs> Sorry for all of the, the noise. Um, so, yeah. we um, 
when this box came, I got a notification that said my November box is on its way, but they were waiting for something, so. <gasps> we have a new ornament! We do, we have a new ornament. Oh. <laughs> this is so cute. I think this was one of the 65th anniversary ones. Yeah, I think so. Okay, so, hold on, okay. I'm, I, I'm just seeing if there's anything under here. There is. Okay, so. What did I pay for this? I paid for this, like, I think she sets it as $99. No, a hundred and something dollars. I can't remember. I'll have to look it up. What? Keep going. And <laughs> so um, the gingerbread was 26 No. Yes, $26.99. She's so cute. We'll have to put her on the couch. Well, Chip might uh, eat her. Somewhere where Chip won't steal her. Yeah. And this ornament is Mickey and Minnie in front of the castle. Oh, where we always. I've we never be. bought an ornament like this, so this is so pretty. We I, we don't have very Mickey and Minnie ornaments. We don't have very many of them. Mm -mm. I don't think we have any of them. Actually, I don't think we do. I love that. How dare we? <laughs> How dare we? We've always gotten other characters. Okay. So this is so cute. You're gonna oh, love it. Is it another advent calendar? It's like make your own album. Oh. But, oh, kind of. It's like a tracker. Oh, it's the day tracker. It's the day oh, tracker. Mom and dad are going to kill me, but they're going to love it. Because <laughs> you're going to put it up. Yes. <laughs> they're going to be because like, what? From now on, this is going up. Everything. And we can put it on. Oh, I saw that. Day... Oh, yeah. Day five. Well, we're well, on we're day on four, four right now. We're on day four. I love it. Oh, this is going up. I don't know where, but it's going up. <laughs> so cute. Oh, my oh. goodness. Does the little then, gingerbread fit in the star? Yeah. Look, up at the very top, you can put them, like. Yay! Oh, he's, he's like, yay! Look at him! He's like, yay! It's a twin bed! Oh, <laughs> cute! And we have, like, a big one and a little one. Oh, I love it. Very, very cool. Okay. cute. Oh my gosh. That yeah, I'm glad we opened this because we can put it up. Yep. Woohoo! I don't know where. Yeah. I don't either. But I'm putting it up. I don't find it. Yeah. Um and this this I mm, uh so I think our last item is a gym chore. Okay. Well, I don't a tag for this, so I'm not quite sure how much that was. Okay. I did not know that my uh, Christmas box was already coming, but I, I love that. I have a Christmas box from Bibbidi coming as well. So. Well, I thought this was going to be your November box because I thought that was going to come first. But yeah, she got I didn't out her Christmas her. boxes to probably be able to put out them for, for Christmas. Christmas. Yeah. yeah. So that is really good and nice of her. Thank you, Polly. Yeah. Not sure if you watch, but. Ah! Oh, we have to put this out too. I need to find my, I have a Tinkerbell in a, um, in a stocking that I got from her a couple of years ago. You have a Jack, too. Well, Jack, mom put him away. Oh, because he was, um, Because she figures that he's Halloween. But and he's Mickey, also Christmas. And he has candy canes. It's Santa Mickey. Santa Mickey. It's Santa Mickey. I love it. I do, too. He makes me happy. He does. He makes me happy, too. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> that does not make me happy. Stop it. Okay. Well, I, the thing with, like I said before, with Dreamer's boxes is you pay so much and then she goes and curates it. So the only thing it said was that it was a one-time Dreamer's Ultimate Christmas box. Um, so I had no idea what was going to be in it. And I And the Christmas box, it, or you don't have like preferences. Well, you don't have preferences for Dreamers. No, box. Dreamers box, you don't do preferences like Bibbidi or Main Street Mail or anything like that. But uh, it's still awesome. Stuff. Yeah. But she, she hits the, the nail on the head. Like, I had started getting stuff from her a couple of years ago. We um, found her at the D23 Expo. Yeah, and she had real film cells, like framed fi film cells. Like, that is something that I always love and, uh, like, I, I feel is so awesome. 
So. So this is going to be our new subscription. On to the next thing. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, well, there, there was no price guide or anything like that, right? No. On hers? Mm -mm. Okay. No. Cool. Because I think it was just your Christmas boxes. Yeah. Merry Christmas. Cool. Um, so this is our, uh, our new, my new subscription. It's Main Street Mail. They had an extensive, um, preference list as well. And it was a hundred dollars. This is their, um, top tier box. Oh, okay. Yeah. So they I know nothing about Main Street Mail. So I did this without <laughs> her. So they have two different boxes. They have the $60 box and they have the hundred dollar box. So I don't know. Um, <laughs> and they, um, I've actually been waiting quite a long time for this one because I think I ordered it in October. Um, but it was like at the end of October, so I think I missed November, so this might... I missed October, this might be November. I don't know. <laughs> I know it renewed, so... We'll see. Here we go. We'll see. Um, but let me see. I don't... I've never opened a mail at Main Street Mail. I've watched a couple of them online, so I don't know if there's like a spoiler card. I don't know. It looks like there's some foozles. It looks like your sh shipping email. Oh, all right, I don't know. That could just be their logo. This is their logo, but um, I can see something on top, so I don't know. Um. Okay, I'm okay. gonna give that to you because I don't know what it is. Oh my goodness. Oh my here, goodness. Let me hold it. So here. Oh, hold on, hold on. This is your okay, so this is your spoiler alert. Right here. Okay, so this is um a handmade card. A handmade card. Kelly, it's... thank you so much for your order. We hope you love everything and have a magical day. And it's got Tish on it. Tish I got. So here, let me let me give you things because that's I can, how we I do can it. see I can see um yes, Bing there's... Bong. I can see Bing Bong. Is it a Bing Bong? I think it's a Bing Bong. Mm, is yeah. it a Bing Bong? Well, it, all it said on there was a plush, so it's a Bing Bong. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my goodness, you do have a Bing Bong. It's a Bing Bong. <laughs> Hold on. No. It's a bing bong. Oh my god, he smells like cotton candy. Does he smell like cotton candy? <laughs> he's not, he's, that, that was overshadowing um, <laughs> the gingerbread smell. Oh my god. He literally <laughs> smells like cotton candy. Like, if this was 4D smell vision, you'd be smelling Girl, cotton candy. He's so cute. <laughs> so, I, I did put on my preferences that I do love Inside Out. Everyone... I don't know. Everyone should know by now that Disgust is like my favorite character. But Bing Bong is so cute. No. <laughs> Who, who's the man who likes to play Bing Bong, Bing Bong? <laughs> so, then we have this little thing. It's called Destination Vacation Design Studio. Oh, okay. Um, oh, wow, he really does smell like cotton. He, like, I want to say... Pencil topper? Oh, it's a straw topper. <laughs> oh, so it's a Mickey and it goes on a so straw cool. topper. And it's uh, the purple wall from Epcot. So it's a or, or not Epcot, it's Magic Kingdom. Where's the purple wall? I don't know. If you know where the purple wall is in Walt Disney World, give us a <laughs> shout I'm like, out below. I, I can't remember where the purple wall is right now. Uh, I think it's in Magic Kingdom. I think it's in Magic Kingdom over in Tomorrowland. Yes. But yeah, so this is the small shop. We'll have them tagged below. Yeah. It's called Destination Vacation Design. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. Yeah, and it'll go right on top of my straw where my stitch cup. Yeah, the only reason why you know that is because of the shell on I the I see, cup. I see. <laughs> that's so cute, the little shell, but this is a little Mickey in the purple yeah. wall. And, like, with Main Street Mail, I remember their preference in being very um, color-based or, like, aesthetic. And so purple is my favorite color. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so now we have a, it looks like another small shop item. Okay. Oh, oh, that's, um, this is a Hollywood Tower Hotel. Oh, that's cool. 1939. It's a little keychain. And it says, you're pretty rad at Audrey and Stone. Oh, well, that's very cute. Very, very cute. Just a so, little keychain. We'll tag that one down below. And too. in my preferences, Hollywood Tower Hotel is my favorite ride. 
Yeah, it's just a little sticker that says Audrey and stuff. Pretty red. Audrey and stuff. So Audrey and stuff. We'll link her below. So Here, cute. Put it in there. Mm -hmm. Okay. And. Oh. Interesting. It is a Christmas ornament from 2017. Oh, wow. Um, it looks like it's made in China, but also was coming open. It's a genie. Oh, it's a little Christmas ornament, though. We do not have the genie on no. our tree. Now we will. And it looks like we got another gym sure. Ooh. <laughs> oh. I think you already have this one, though. Oh. Well, open it up. Uh, oh. First time we got... Well, second time we got a duplicate. Trusting with it? No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I may have just ruined that for you. But it was good up until then. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> fine, fine. It's been to It's bound to happen these. with all the subscription boxes. And we can find it a good home. Yeah. We'll decide what to do with it later. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's the Ohana Means Family figurine. I think, um, what I think happened was, I think, no, I think oh, yeah. the, the Air Guest Express did it because it was a stitch box. Oh, and, yeah. And, um... I think I ordered the BR Guest Express and the Main Street Mail at the same time. I did not put on my preferences that I already had this one because I didn't have it yet. Yeah. So, so. Uh, not their fault. Not their fault at all. Still really cute. And we'll figure out what we want to do with it. Mm-hmm. It might go in a giveaway. Maybe a giveaway. Who knows? Maybe. Mm -hmm. Who knows? I don't know. Um, it is Christmas time, so it could be a, a re-gift. Could be a good gift. Could be. We'll see. We'll see. We'll let you know if it becomes a giveaway. <laughs> yeah, we definitely will. Um, but that's awesome. That's an awesome, awesome that box. That is a very awesome box. So and like you I said, said, you paid 100 for it? Yes. So, with the plush, was twenty two ninety nine. dollars Do I need my phone? Uh, um, um, no, they title it up. They title oh, okay. it up. Um, it says castle castle correspondent for Kelly. Um, I didn't. It was the plush. Yeah, that was the box. What the box was called? Castle correspondent. Okay. Um, plush was twenty two ninety nine. Keychain was nine dollars. What was the keychain? Oh, the Hollywood, the Hollywood Tower of Terror. Okay. The straw topper was four ninety seven. The figure was forty nine ninety five, and the figure the figural ornament from Japan was fifteen dollars. Oh wow, this is from Japan. Yeah, um, that's cool. And then the pen, pen, uh, pen, uh, pen. pen. Mm, there's a pen. Hold your box. <laughs> the pin. Oh, mm. <laughs> is a fun for everyone Mickey Mouse made for each other pin. Okay, pin. A pen. Okay. I always need pens. <laughs> so a pin is three dollars and fifty cents for a box. That is double. the second time she has left something out on in the box and then read the spoiler and been like, oh, well, there's something else on here. <laughs> For a box value of a hundred. She is not a good <laughs> box opener. Yes, I am. Shut up. Um, so, um, uh, for a box total value of a hundred and five dollars and forty one cents. Well, that's good. I paid a hundred. I got it over to the value. So, did you pay like ninety nine plus shipping, or did you pay a hundred plus shipping? Hundred plus shipping. It was flat a hundred. Oh, it was oh, okay. So it was a flat a hundred dollars. Yeah. Okay, not bad. You got five dollars over the total. Yeah. Yeah. So, awesome. It's gonna, it, yeah. I think they're a relatively new company, so they're still trying to find that was scissors. 
Speaking of not trusting somebody with scissors. <laughs> <laughs> we will just leave this for now. Um, so I think they're relatively um, finding their footing. Uh, a relatively new company. I don't know. I've never really heard of them. But I like that they include small shops. Like yeah. Uh, yeah. Small shops and... Um, and different things that I haven't really seen before. Something from Japan. Although Aladdin wasn't really on my preferences. But the genie. Robin Williams. He's hilarious. Right, you I know love what? him. I love Aladdin. So it stays. I didn't say it was going anywhere. I just said it's not on my preferences. <laughs> um, but the smell in here is like cotton candy and gingerbread. I and know. it's like, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Well, if you like this video, comment, like, and subscribe. I'm sorry Thank it was all over the place. All. We kind of are filming this late in the day because I could not wait to open my box. Right. And, um, yeah, we're a little delirious so Stay after. tuned for the next one where you, you open up more advent calendar stuff. Have a Merry Christmas if you celebrate Hanukkah. It's probably going to start after we put this up. So, have a happy Be Hanukkah. Okay. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye. Okay. So I have to tell you, I was cleaning up all the stuff from opening up the boxes. And you know how Kelly said that I was bad at pulling stuff out of the box? No, she was bad at pulling stuff out of the box. So she forgot out of my dreamers box, my Christmas box, these two buttons, cute buttons that says the sweetest holiday on earth and I love holiday treats. And also this little frame, little thing. I'm not quite sure what it is, but it says it's the yummiest time of year. That's it. I just wanted to show you this because I found it in the box while trying to throw things away. Yeah. All right. Bye. <laughs>